Have you ever walked out to your car and find a flat tire? Well, today on Side Yard Mechanic, I'm going to show you how to find the leak and fix the flat. First thing to do is get the tire inflated. It's a good idea to have one of these portable tire inflators, either battery powered or ones that hook up to your cigarette lighter. I'm just going to pump it up. Before removing the flat tire, put a brick or a block under one of the other tires to keep the car from rolling. The next step is to remove the wheel from the car. So go to your trunk and find your spare tire and your jack. tools that you need to remove the lug nut. So in the trunk we found the jack, the crowbar, and the wrench to work the jack. Before jacking up the car, it's important to break the lug nuts free first. Don't take them all the way off. Just break them free. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Now we're ready to jack up the car. So you're gonna look under the car. Usually there's a seam or a bead here. On this, on this car, there's a notch right here. That matches up with this notch on the jack. Now that we got the jack under the car, we're going to use our tools to jack the car up. tire is off the ground, we're going to use our wrench to remove the lug nuts all the way and pull the wheel off. Make sure you put your lug nuts somewhere that they're not going to roll away or get lost and just pull the wheel off. Got the tire off the car. What we're going to do is we're going to look and see if we could find anything that might cause a leak. A nail, a screw, a cut. Got a bunch of rocks in here. Right there. Picked up a screw somewhere. That's probably the cause. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some soapy water and we're gonna spray and look for some bubbles. There's our leak. So this is good news because it's in the middle of the tire. If the screw was on the side, we would have to replace it. Being that it's in the center, we can put a plug in there. So what we're going to be using to fix this tire is a repair kit that I picked up at our local auto parts store. It comes with all the tools needed, it comes with the rope plugs, the installer, the rasp, even comes with the tire gauge. Remove the screw or the nail, whatever caused the puncture. In this case it's a screw, just grab a screwdriver and pull it out. If it was a nail, you could grab some pliers like this and pull it out. All right, next up what we're gonna do is we're gonna open our kit. 
and we're going to take our rasp, our file, it's this part here, it's rough, that's going to clean up the hole and make it big enough for our plugs. What you do is you find the hole here, and you're just going to work it in and out. Kind of twist while you're pushing. As you push in, twist, and then twist and pull out. I want to do this at least five times. Just until you can get that tool in and out without too much trouble. If it's too tight, it's going to be really hard to get that plug in there. Alright, well now that we got our hole reamed out with the file, we're going to take our installation tool. It's the T-handle with this groove here, split at the end. We're going to take one of our little rope plugs, or also known as a black licorice. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to feed this through the center of this installer. There are instructions in this kit, but it's pretty straightforward. What you're going to do is you're going to pull it so that the seal is even on both sides. And then we're going to stick this into the hole of the tire. We got our hole reamed out. We got our plug installed on our installer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this in here like that, kind of pushing and twisting at the same time. You can see how if you don't have that hole rimmed out enough, it's hard to get in. You want to push it in so that it's about two thirds of the way. So maybe about quarter inch, half inch of this plug still hanging out here. There we go. So now that that's installed, two thirds of the length of the of the plug, what you're gonna do is now you're gonna pull up on the T handle, straight out. Like that. Got our plug installed, you wanna take a razor blade and cut this off flush. So that it's like that. How much air to put in your tires? Check on the door. Just might tell you. 38 PSI. Now we're gonna air up the tire. You don't have a compressor or a portable inflator. You can take the tire down to a gas station and air it up. Your car will tell you on the door how much to inflate it. Or you could even look on the side of the tire here and it'll tell you how much pounds to put in there. This tire has right here, 44 PSI. Daddy. So in our kit comes a tire gauge. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put it on the valve, see what it reads. 25 PSI, we need some more air. Now that we got our plug installed and our tire pumped up, we're gonna make sure that we fixed our leak. Spray with our soapy water. We don't see any bubbles coming out like before. We're good to go. Now that we got our tire plugged and aired up, we're going to reinstall it on the car. You want to get all your lug nuts on, 
finger tight. You don't want to just run one all the way down. You do them e evenly. It's a good habit to do them crisscross pattern. Run them down a little bit at a time, crisscross, so that the wheel goes on nice and even. You'll feel the lug nut bottomed out. You want to stop there. And then while holding the wheel, just give a little snug. We're going to torque them all the way down while the car is on the floor. To lower the jet. Then we're going to torque down our lug nuts here. Torque is about 80 to 100 foot pounds. So if you can't get them tight enough by hand, what you could do real easy is just step on it a little bit like that. Remember, crisscross. Not too much. There we go. Flat tires fixed. If you like this video and got something from it, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, comment. Once again, Side Yard Mechanic, thanks for checking us out.